In this tutorial, we'll look at some core things you should know when working with your images in the Snagit Editor. We'll cover resizing an image, changing an image background, combining images, and more. Let's start with an image in the editor. When we talk about resizing, there are a couple of things we can look at. The first, image size, can be adjusted using this dialog. The second, canvas size, can be adjusted by dragging these handles. When we drag in, the canvas gets smaller. As you can see, it also crops the image. When we drag out, the canvas gets larger, making room for anything else we want to add. We can also resize the canvas using the Resize Canvas dialog. Now that we've made the canvas larger, we can see this gray and white checkered background. This indicates that the background of the image is transparent. A transparent background can give images a more professional look, especially when placed over a colorful background like a PowerPoint slide. See the difference between the transparent background and the white background? Just a quick note, if you want to save your image, make sure you choose an image type that supports transparency, such as ping or gif. There might be times when we want to match the background to an existing color in the image, or prefer a colored background instead. In the Canvas Color drop-down menu, we can select a color from the color palette. If we don't see the color we want, we can go to More Colors to choose from the standard colors or use the Custom tab to get the exact color. Just like with fashion, we may want our image to have some color coordination. Clicking here will allow you to select a color directly from your image. For this image, I'm going to leave the background transparent. All this open space gives me the opportunity to show you how to combine images. Simply grab the image from the Open Captures tray and drag it on your image. Use the mouse to move it around or these handles to adjust the size. There's some extra white space that could be cropped out. Use the handles on the canvas to crop the image. Our image is shaping up nicely. Now let's go to the Draw tab and add some text. Notice how the callout, text, and image have handles that allow you to edit them. This is because they're separate objects on the canvas, which is nice if we want to make some adjustments later. If you want these objects to remain editable, you need to save your image in the Snagit file format known as Snag. Then, next time you open the image, you can move things around as needed. While we're talking about movable objects, I want to point out a setting that exists on some of the drawing objects. The arrow, for example. Under the Effects dropdown, there's a setting, Create as Vector. When this is checked, it will create the arrow as an object on the canvas, just like the callout we added earlier. We'll be able to deselect it and come back later and edit. If this option is not checked, it will flatten the arrow, which means we won't be able to move it around or edit it. Lastly, Snagit has several cool image effects that can be added to your image. Some of the effects require all objects on the canvas to be flattened before applying. Flattening merges the objects into the image. Once you've flattened the objects, you can no longer edit them, so make sure you have your image the way you want it before adding effects. Let's try one out. Image effects are located in this area. They include effects like Fade, Torn Edge, Shark Tooth, Shadow, and Page Curl. You can combine effects to get the look you want. Let's start by adding a perspective effect. Most of the effect tools can be customized, which allows the effect to be changed to your exact needs. For this image, a slight horizontal perspective would look nice. We can use a slider or enter a percentage. Now doesn't that finish our image off nicely? I'll let you explore the rest of the effects on your own. Be creative and see what you can come up with. If you get stuck or have any questions, you can reach us at feedback.techsmith.com. Thanks for watching.